In this video, I want to show you a quick way of adding direct user feedback into your traces. And for that, I created a chat application that answers questions about Lang views. And one of the things that you can see is that there is a feedback button at the end of the message where you can click on it and just say, for example, that the answer was too long. And that way you can provide feedback to the LLM. Ideally, I would want to see that in my observability directly in the trace where the LLM request happened and be able to investigate further. If I open my traces in length views, you can see that the last conversation that I just had is here and the user feedback just came in. I'm going to show you the code of how I implemented this very simply. The first thing is this route file that I have here, this Next.js project. So this is the backend part. In the backend, I'm actually sending the trace ID of the active span that I have, and which will then be picked up by the frontend in the answer. And then in the frontend code, I'll instantiate the Langfuse web SDK just using the public key. And next, whenever I'm handling the click of the feedback buttons, I'm using the Langfuse SDK to send the score directly and attaching the trace ID that I got from the backend into the score. And that way I can have the feedback directly in the trace as I showed you. So this is a very simple way of getting an explicit feedback from the user. Other ways of getting implicit feedback is, for example, if a user copied a code snippet that your LLM suggested or opened the link, you can actually still use the likely scoring mechanism so you can get some information to see if the LLM response was useful to the user. Another way of having implicit feedback is actually having an LLM as a judge run against your traces, which is basically an LLM that tricks an instruction that you built. For example, I have a user sentiment score one, which grades the user sentiment of a conversation, takes the input. And then I have here the input being simply the trace input. And so it can see the entire conversation and then grade the sentiment. And so if I go to the traces, open the last trace, you'll see the user feedback, but also you'll see a score by the LLM as a judge giving me the user sentiment, which can implicitly tell me how this is working. I can then filter on these scores and see which of my conversations need review or I can actually add them directly to data sets so I can build a data set for my evaluations that is built specifically on those traces. So this is it. This is a very short video. The example that I just showed is linked in the video description so you can explore it on your own. And hopefully now you know that you can enhance your Langfuse traces with explicit feedback coming directly from your users or implicit feedback gathered in other ways like tracking the copy button of a code snippet or an LLM as a judge that runs on all your traces.